Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. And in this DCS AH64D video, we'll take a look at using the data link to send and receive text messages, tactical reports, and TSD points. Now, if you haven't seen already, I highly recommend taking a look at the data link setup video I did earlier. It's really important to understand that to send and receive information over the data link, that all members be part of the same preset. Now, in this case, we can see that up on the EUFD. We can see that we have on the top line VHF on 127.5 Gunslinger L1, which is preset one. And that's where we're exchanging the data. And you'll notice on the far left, there's a box and that indicates what radio we're sending data link information out over. Now, if we wanted to send information over a different radio, we could use the data rocker to move it to a different radio. In this case, say FM2 or FM1. We'll go back to VHF for now, but also note that we can receive data over any of the radios. Now, if we want to see actually who's on our preset, we can go to COM, then we go to Gunslinger L1, preset one, go to network, and we can see we have CS2, that's for uh, Chaos 2, and it's actually one of my coworkers here who's giving me a hand today. Back out to COM. So at the uh, bottom, we have message, and send. Let's press that to send a message. And these are different options. We can send a text message, current mission information, or mission one and mission two. But mission one and mission two will come a bit later once we have DTC working. So first, let's go ahead and send a text message. At the top, we have uh, two options for types of text messages. We have MPS, mission planning system, or free text. So a MPS message is a pre-composed message that we can send and receive. You can see the list on the left and right of the display. So in this case, I'm going to send a move to next waypoint to chaos12 by clicking on that option and then pressing send to VHF over L1. Now he sent that message. Now, if for some reason his modem did not receive and acknowledge that message back, we would see a transmit no acknowledge message or XMIT no ACK up on the EUFD. And that could be because the aircraft is out of range or behind terrain. So we can also receive these messages as well. So uh, Chaos12, go ahead and send me an MPS message of execute attack. So you see, you heard the tone of receiving a message. At the bottom in the message box, we see receive, we'll click on that. You see we have a message from CS2. And at the top in white, we have RVW to review the message. And we can see we have unmask and execute attack from CS2. Perfect. Let's delete that and hit yes. Back to send. Now the other type of text message is of course a free text message. So we hit free and we have uh, four lines that we can create with each line being 44 characters. So we'll do the first line, text one, We'll go to the keyboard unit, one, two, three, and enter. Now we'll hit send over to the VHF to preset one, and he's been sent that message. And it's been acknowledged given that we have no, uh, no ACK message in response. Coming back out, let's go to current mission. Now here we can send our entire library of waypoints and hazards, our targets and threats, our control measures, our route, all of them, and even our laser codes. And it's important to remember that if I were to send, say, my waypoints and uh, obstacles, it would overwrite all the ones uh, in the preset uh, recipient libraries. So I'm going to go ahead and send those. So you can see we have uh, three waypoints here. So I hit waypoints, send. Now I've sent uh, them, or in this case, CS2, those three waypoints. Now let's see how this works in receiving. So um, uh, Chaos12, go ahead and send me your threat library. So you see a DL message, receive, store. Now you notice I had a target up there before, which has disappeared and replaced now with these three threats that Chaos12 has sent me. So that's a look at using the COM page to send and receive information. Next, let's take a look at the TSD and points. 
Now, before we get into sending and receiving points over the TSD, it's really important to first understand that unlike the data link systems of aircraft like the F-18 and the F-16 that continuously update information, the data link for the AH-64D is quite different in that you can think of it as sending discrete reports. So for example, if I were to send my present position to my primary members, even if I move, that position would not move at all. It would only be updated if I sent a later present position report. So that being said, let's see what we can do. At the very top, we have RPT for reports. And along the left side, we have PP for present position. Along the bottom, we have message. Right now, set to request. Let's click on that and go to send. So we're going to send our present position to our primary members. So we'll hit send over the VHF to preset one and send. What we can also do is request present positions from our primary members. So we'll go to reports, present position. We'll go to message to request now and hit send. PP report received, and we can see uh, chaos one two here at the other end of the airfield. Let's come out of reports, and as mentioned, we can also send and receive uh, points. So let's go ahead and send this uh, hazard over to uh, chaos one two. So I'm going to select points. I'm going to use the cursor to select this hazard. Select transmit or exmit. Select S2 as my primary recipient. And now we have send at the bottom over the VHF over preset one and sent. And we can do the same thing from our other primary members. So uh, chaos one, two, uh, go ahead and send me your target point, please. Target point audio received. You can see uh, we received a message point. We're going to click on that. Target and threat from S2. And now we see the target point here ahead of us. So folks, this is a little overview of the uh, data link and how to use it with uh, text messages, tactical reports, and TSD points. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Thanks.